Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm in On One Photo Raw 2021. And honestly, this is a simple edit. This is super simple. Um, I love to make tutorials where I go in and use masks and different filters and do all these things. Um, and I don't want to make it look complicated because it really isn't. But sometimes my edits have a lot of steps. This is not one of them. This one's pretty easy. So I've got this photo here shot at sunrise. It's a little bit dark. And so I was in the develop tab and I said, let me try this AI auto and boom, it brightened it up really well. I like it. Um, there's a few things I don't like about it. So the first one is I actually reduced contrast quite a bit because I felt like it was a bit too heavy on the contrast. And then I'm going to pull the highlights down just a little bit more. Um, Midtones and uh, shadows, uh, actually shadows are going to go up a little bit. Midtones going to stay where they are. Uh, and then whites and blacks, I I'm fine with. The other thing I'm going to do is just drop temperature. So I'm going to get to like the 4800 kind of range. So I think like that. I'm going to leave tint there for now, but I'm going to adjust that later. And then saturation and vibrance, I'm fine. So honestly, I mean, I hit a button, AI auto, and it did a pretty good job. Now, um, I don't use that button all the time, but uh, sometimes it works really well. Obviously, with the dark photo, it's going to provide a lot of brightening, which I liked. Um, and so that really got me to a, a kind of a good start. And by the way, this is Austin at sunrise uh, a couple of years ago. Um, but what I want to do is really accentuate the sunrise now that you can see it, uh, some of that color and that sort of thing. And so this is where I go into effects. And I'm doing some really basic stuff, quite simple. So color balance, and I'm in highlights here and all i want to do is move the hue to about 38 which is you know kind of uh not kind of but you know pretty warm uh and then the amount like 33 so again not a big move just kind of something small i want to bring back a little bit of that color that was in the sunrise so there it is before a lot more blue overall and there it is now getting some of that color back so i like that but another tool that i like for bringing that kind of look to a photo is the sunshine filter. And here I'm gonna bump up the amount uh, into the 70s. I'm gonna give a little bit of warmth as well. So maybe like a 10 or so, and then uh, a saturation of like five or six, something like that. So I like what that's done to the photo. However, I don't really like what it's done to the highlights. Uh, and that's the thing with the sunshine filter is there it was before, which I, I think looks really nice in terms of the light balance, the distribution of light. It's well balanced with the foreground and the and the sky and that sort of thing. Now the sky is too bright. So I like the look of sunshine, but I don't always like what it does to highlights. So easy enough to fix. Go get tone enhancer and I just come in here to highlights and I just drop them to negative 100 and I've got that all back. So I think that looks pretty good. And now the only other thing I wanted to do is go back over here to develop and I want to get into this tint and all I'm trying to do is accentuate a little bit of that sunrise color that was in the air. And so I'm going to do something maybe about like that, where, you know, when you add back a little bit of that tint, um, I, I initially had it higher like that, but I think that's too much. But when you add back a little bit of that tint, to me, that makes it feel like it's a little bit closer to the edge of the day. And this was sunrise. So the sun was coming up to my right, which is east. And, you know, I took a number of shots that morning while I was out at sunrise. And it was a beautiful sunrise, great clouds, had some decent light. This was just a little bit past that. So some of the drama in the light was gone. That little move with tint, I think, has brought it back nicely. And honestly, that's it. I mean, no masking, no fancy moves, nothing like that. But I started like that and I ended like that took a couple of minutes. So that's really the power and flexibility of on one. You can do so much with these tools without really a whole lot of effort. And for me, that AI auto really kicked me off in the right direction. Fast, fun, easy, powerful. It's just on one. It's easy to use. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'll be back more or no, I'll be back soon with more. I say that a lot. I screw it up. I'll be back soon with more videos. If you guys have particular things you want me to cover, don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below. And I'll catch you in the next one, my friends. You guys take care of yourselves. I'll see you later. And adios.